Hello class, this is a champion. Today we'll be looking at this important topic over here. We have the topic to be digital systems. So today what I'm expecting you to know is that you should be able to know what digital devices are. Then the uses of some digital devices. Before we start, we will look at what digital devices or systems are. When we talk of digital systems or devices, we are referring to devices that are able to store, process, and send digital information. Or we can say digital systems are devices that process electronic signals in digital form that's in zeros that's the off or in ones that's the on the on stage represents the presence of electronic signals running through the device while the off stage represents the absence of electronic signals in the device that is why every digital device has two states, either off or on. Now look at some examples of these digital systems. Most of them can be seen in our homes and even at our workplaces where our dads and moms used to work. So we have for example here a smartphone or a mobile phone. And I hope you know what the device is being used for. Even some of us as children, we have the devices as our personal property. So look at the use of this device, that's the smartphone or the mobile phone. Now we have it over here. The first one is for making audio and video calls. The mobile phone can be used to make audio and video calls. Audio calls comes when we call people on our phones, talking to them verbally. Then the video calls come when we use applications that support video calls, where we can interact with people face to face. Now the second one is for sending SMS, that short se uh, message service. So with the phone, we can also text messages from our phone to other phones uh, let's, next one is the same phone can be used to listen to music and watching of videos videos and music can be watched on the mobile phone as we do on other uh, digital devices like computers and other devices like a tv and the rest so we can use the same mobile phone for browsing the internet for information. When we say browsing, we are referring to just going through web pages on the net to search for information. So with the mobile phone, we can also search for information from the internet. By the same way, this device can be used to keep contacts of friends and relatives. Most of the time, some of us find it difficult to keep numbers in our head and even books we normally misplace them so with a mobile phone we can just save contacts of our friends and relatives the same mobile phone can be used to send and receive email email simply means electronic mails it can refer to the letters that we used to send from our digital devices onto other digital devices and before you can send an email to someone you have to get an email account email account comes with many features at you may see someone with an address as farme at gmail.com all those addresses are known as email address now let's look at this second digital device we have a digital camera and I hope most of you have been using this device or have seen this device before. To look at the use of this digital camera. 
to the main use of this device it's for taking photos of friends and family members just like the ones we have at the back of our mobile phones or smartphones to just take a picture of a friend or a family member or even at an event you can use the digital camera to take pictures of your relatives or your friends the second one is for making recordings of events at times you may go for parties watching of footballs weddings and the rest where we need to take videos of what happened at that moment so with the help of the digital camera we can record videos and keep them on the digital camera the next one is for keeping records of families and friends as I explained in point two, when you take videos from friends at an event, it can be kept on this camera to far as you want to keep it on a storage uh, medium. That's the memory card that we have in the camera. Now let's go to this device. We have a megaphone. We normally see this device being used by people who sell within our communities. Or at times they are being attached to cars. We see cars coming around with products trying to sell, and we see these megaphones attached to the cars just to amplify the voice of the one talking. So, the main use of this device is to amplify a person's voice or other sounds and direct it in a given direction. Now, our next device is the computer. Computer is found in almost most of our homes and this is the device that children use most and even at offices to look at the use of this digital device too. So for the use of the computer, the computer can be used in playing of games like FIFA, uh, pinball, cheese and the rest. It can also be used in watching of movies for sending emails, communicating with other people, that's the use of email, solving math problems. We have applications that can be used in solving mathematics problems. An example is what we have here as spreadsheets or Excel application. The computer can also be used in taking pictures. We have some computers just like the laptops. They come with webcams that can be used for making video calls or even taking pictures and saving them on the computer. Now the next one is iPad. This is a digital device manufactured by the Apple company. We have other types which are also tablets and this device can be used in browsing the internet for information, reading and sending of emails, listening to music, playing games, reading ebooks and making calls when you say ebooks you are referring to electronic books that's books that we download from the internet and read on our digital devices they are not like the normal books that we have or we can hold them in our hand these are books saved on our digital devices just like the mobile phone which you can read at any time that you want now the next device is the mt mp3 player that the MPEG audio layer 3. This is also a digital device mostly for listening to songs and also listening to the news from radios. So we have its uses over here for playing of music and storing of audio files. That's the music that we save on our memory cards and listening to them at a later time. Now we'll end our lesson here. We are able to know what a digital device is and some examples of dig digital devices. So we saw that a digital device is any device that is able to store, process and send digital information. Examples of these devices, we mentioned the computer, the mobile phone, the MP3 uh, player, the megaphone and so on now this is your exercise we have the first question 
what are digital devices to here you explain what a digital device is or just write a definition for digital devices and the second one you give three examples of digital devices sorry for not adding a device so here you give three examples of digital devices then three you state the use of any two digital devices from the answer that you provide in question two you will give two uses of those devices now for your next lesson as you are in the house you have to read on energy efficient gadgets and techniques used in homes so this will be our next lesson we we'll end here meet you again on monday that's next week bye